Most of us enjoy being able to speak and be heard, but for those who are deaf and only use sign language, they may feel isolated until now. Tarek Sahid left his lucrative position as a Penticton data center manager to pursue his vision full time. When Tarek met a deaf person and observed their communication barriers, he was inspired to help not only his deaf friend, but many others around the world. So with some new technology that Tarek is working on, he's gonna show us how he and his team are bridging the gap with people who are hearing impaired. Tarek Sahid created a computer program which takes visual sign language and converts it into spoken word and written text. He's using, in part, components designed to make video games interactive. If you put it here, it has a certain parameter that it's looking for. So, such as now, if you're here, so you can go up to here, and then up down, and this. And this is really essentially what you need to do your sign language. And what we are able to do is take these gestures, the readings, and then make it intelligent enough that it will convert it into text and voice. What we are doing is taking it into the next level because when you're playing games, they're looking for your hand gestures, hand movements, going left to right or top to bottom, or how quick it is. But as far as what we are working on is actually capturing the finger movements, interpreting it, looking at the database we have created to see what does that movement actually mean. The small startup company is called Baby Taxi, and during our Go Okanagan interview, we Skyped with Tedvir and Saeed, teammates in Bangladesh, who put aside top university postings to take on this project. It's a team effort, by the way. We are working on two different parts of the globe, but still we are connected, we are connecting every day, and every day we are making progress. We are not motivated by money, we are not motivated by the uh, exposure. What we are motivated by is the fact that we can change the lives of so many people who has been neglected for so many years. It's in the roadmap to have it work with the iPhone and iPad or any tablet devices. Uh, also, I can envision that they will create this device into such so small that it will be right here. You can wear it as a necklace, so you can pretty much walk around anywhere you want with it and then communicate with the real world. Tarek and his team will continue to develop this software anticipating a launch to consumers in a year's time. Together, we can change the world. For more information on this technology, click on babytaxi.ca. For Go Okanagan, I'm Wayne McDougall in Penticton.